So here I have this desk fan that just stopped working after a month of gradually exhibiting a slow startup problem. It would usually take about anywhere from 10 seconds to 30 seconds for the blades to begin spinning slowly. And as I increase the level of speed, it would give more power to the fan. And eventually it will take up to one minute, sometimes five minutes for the fan to spin completely. And now I'm going to do a troubleshooting and fix this problem. So I'm going to remove the cover protecting the blades. And then I have to remove the blades themselves to be able to free the unit for repair. So on this particular fan, you have two screws covered by these plastic covers. And you want to remove them. And remove the screws. So you can open the back plate from here. Make sure the power is unplugged. So now you can see the fan motor is exposed. On some units, you remove the front cover on other units, you actually have to remove the back cover. And the next step is to pull out this locking mechanism that prevents the fan from rotating or enables it from to rotate. And you need to actually pull it hard, make sure you use some strength, okay. And there it came off, not without too much difficulties. Now you just have to remove the cover. So it turned out this unit actually has a screw holding the cover from the back too. And that was a little bit difficult to re remove because the cover was stuck. So I'm going to remove that and I'll be able to remove this cover here. So here you can see this is the fan motor and these are the electrical wires coming into the capacitor. This is a motor start capacitor. Its function is to give enough current to start the motor. And here we have a 450 volt, one microfarad capacitor. And 90% of the time, if you change capacitor, that will solve whatever the problem you have. However, sometimes if you can see, there are also some wires that are enclosed in a high temperature resistant material. And one of them is a temperature based fuse, which is called a thermal fuse and usually that would cut off the current when there is an overheating condition. And the third probable cause of a fan that stops working is a bad motor. So that is another possibility. However, that is the least likely possibility. And here I'm going to try to replace this capacitor first. This fan is not designed for good serviceability because the manufacturer decided to solder the wires from the capacitor directly onto the main wires and the motor. I mean, you can see it here. You have the neutral here and you have one wire from the coil and then you have the neutral wire coming from the, uh, the main. So here you can see inside this high temperature resistant sleeve, you have a thermal cutoff fuse that protects the fan from overheating. When the motor reaches a certain temperature, it will cut off the current and reset itself when the temperature is normal. So it's a resettable fuse and rarely this type of fuse would cause a problem for the fan. Generally the problem will be in the capacitor or in the motor. So always try to change the capacitor first and uh, check the fuse to make sure under normal condition it has continuity. How do you know if the thermal cutoff fuse is good? First, you remove the protective sleeve to expose the thermal cutoff fuse, which is seen here. 
and then simply take the multimeter you have to check it for continuity so so there there's continuity means the problem is not the thermal cutoff fuse and most likely it's going to be something else So now after I replaced the, the new capacitor, let's try to see if the motor spins. Look, now the fan works instantly. After reassembling all the parts, the fan is working as normal again and I saved another fan from polluting the environment.